I'm Polly Perrette. And I am Lou Wegner. It's been another stellar year in film, and soon the Academy Awards will take place just a few miles from here. And while the Oscars honor the best achievements in cinema by two-legged mammals, Lou and I are here to announce the seventh annual POSCARS, American Humane Association's annual awards, which recognize the achievements of those four-legged creatures in film. American Humane Association protects the safety and welfare of some 100,000 animals on nearly 1,000 productions every year. In fact, American Humane Association monitored the animal action in three of this year's highest grossing films, including Star Wars The Force Awakens, Jurassic World, and Avengers Age of Ultron. With a 75-year history in protecting animals in film and television, who better to judge and determine the Poscars than American Humane Association? Okay, let's get this started. Our first Posker is for Best Family Dog in Love the Coopers. This holiday comedy is about four generations of the Cooper clan and their journey home for their annual Christmas dinner. In the middle of this emotional hurricane stands Rags, a lovable St. Bernard who bears witness to the Coopers' collective neuroses with a perpetual look of confusion and empathy. Whether dressed up for the holidays, riding in the back seat of a car, or eating from everyone's plates, Rags shines throughout the film. In fact, director Jesse Nelson called Rags the Marlon Brando of dogs. The next award goes to the horses in The Hateful Eight for most moving performance. And we mean that literally, as in moving up a mountain. Throughout the movie, we see a team of powerful stallions pull a stagecoach through picturesque, snow-covered valleys and mountains. It looks cold out there, but don't worry. American Humane Association made sure all the horses were accustomed to both the weather and the altitude. And to make the horses climb easier, production used a snowcat to groom the trails prior to filming the scenes. Plus, their hooves were covered with rubber ice pads to protect them from the snow. Doesn't sound so hateful to me. Traditionally, animals play supporting characters, but that wasn't the case in this year's Hitchcockian thriller, The Gift, which features a dog as one of the principal actors. The gift revolves around a married couple and their dog, played by the very gifted Bolt. All of their lives are turned upside down when they reconnect with a mysterious friend from the past. And without giving too much away, I'll just say that Bolt plays a key role in the film. In fact, he has some pretty heavy scenes that require genuine acting skills. Some of his expressions are downright haunting. And like Anthony Perkins in Psycho, it's all in the eyes. And that is why Bolt is the winner of the Best Hitchcockian Hound Award. The winner for Best Rodeo Romance goes to Nicholas Sparks' adaptation of The Longest Ride. And as all you lovebirds know, only Nicholas Sparks could weave a tale which combines romance and bull riding. In The Longest Ride, Britt Robertson falls in love with a professional bull rider played by Scott Eastwood. The bull riding scenes are nail biting to say the least and look incredibly realistic. The reason, those are real bulls being ridden by real cowboys. American Humane Association and the animal trainers made sure everything went safely and smoothly, and dare we say, romantically. The actors never did any of the real bull riding. And when we see Scott Eastwood waiting in the chute, ready to ride, he was actually sitting on a fake bull. The next Oscar is for the best on-screen bribe in Daddy's Home. When a father and stepfather go head to head, sometimes bribery is required. This is the sticky situation in the comedy Daddy's Home, where Will Ferrell tries to steal the attention of his stepchildren from Mark Wahlberg. In a last desperate attempt, Will Ferrell dresses up like Santa Claus and presents the kids with the ultimate bribe, an adorable pony, complete with a pink saddle and ribbons. Needless to say, the bribe works. Trainers were on set during the filming of the scene. They showed Will Ferrell how to lead the pony into the house and made sure the pony's path was clear of equipment and toys. The only trouble they had was the pony, Mary, kept trying to eat Will Ferrell's Santa outfit. The next award goes to Buttercup for best repurring cat performance. In The Hunger Games, Buttercup has survived her share of nine lives and then some. With a starring role in all four films, she gives Jennifer Lawrence a run for her money as the greatest survivor of the capital. The Hunger Games used numerous felines to portray Buttercup in her varying moods. John was the warrior cat. Orion was the loving mellow one. Of course, American Humane Association had the pleasure of working with all the cats and made sure they were always acclimated to the locations and weather conditions before shooting. For example, in the scenes that had rain, production used extra warm water and the cats got a complete towel drying before being placed in a heated tent. Sounds cozy.
Congratulations to Buttercup and all the cats for the role of nine lifetimes. Our next award, Best Ensemble Performance, was a real shoo-in. Horses, mice, geese, chickens, cats, and even lizards work together in this year's retelling of the classic Cinderella. With an ensemble like that, there's no question that we celebrate diversity at the Poskers. There have been many versions of Cinderella, but none as visually amazing as Disney's newest incarnation. In particular, the famed scene where the carriage turns into a pumpkin, the horses into mice, and the coach driver into a goose. You might be surprised to hear that the animals in this sequence were, in fact, real, not animated. Production filmed the real animals on a green screen. Then they took that footage of the animals and digitally combined it with that of the pumpkin carriage. The rest was movie magic. Our final award goes to the film Max for Best Hero Dog. Max is the story of a military dog who returns from war after his handler is killed and then is adopted by his handler's family. More than just a heartfelt drama, Max is also an exciting adventure. A good example is when Max playfully chases the boy as he rides his bike through a forest. The scene was actually shot in small increments with the dog only running 50 yards at a time. Two trainers worked together on the scene. One released the dog at point A, while the other welcomed the dog with treats and hugs at point B. American Humane Association and the producers of Max were proud champions of the recently passed National Defense Authorization Act which now guarantees the right of all military dogs to return home when their tour of duty ends. And here to accept the award for best hero dog is Dude, one of the dogs who played Max in the film. Congratulations, Dude. Look, Dude, good boy, take it, good boy, take it. Congratulations. Animal actors appear in all kinds of movies. This year, we opened up voting to the American public on our website to pick the top animal buddy movie, best animal drama, and best animal family movie of all time. We received more than 1,000 ballots. Here to announce the winners is the Chief Veterinary Officer and National Director of American Humane Association's No Animals Were Harmed program, Dr. Quan Stewart. Well, the votes have been tallied and the public has spoken. The winner for the best animal buddy movie is 1989's Turner and Hooch, in which a slobbery French Mastiff partners with Tom Hanks to create one of the most memorable friendships in movie history. The best animal drama goes to 2003's Seabiscuit, the true story of a small racehorse whose victories lifted the morale of Depression-era America. And the best family movie is awarded to 1957's Old Yeller. Disney's timeless classic, which is credited as one of the first films that demonstrates the importance of the human-animal bond. That's gonna wrap it up for another year of the Poscars. And remember, if there are any animals in the movies you're watching, look for the No Animals Were Harmed certification in the end credits. That's your guarantee that the American Humane Association representatives were on the set to protect animal actors and promote animal welfare. On behalf of myself, Lou and everyone at American Humane Association, we congratulate all of our winners.